In today's video, we're going to be taking a detailed look into the grooming needs of a Brittany Spaniel. So let's get started. Welcome back to the Fenrir Brittany Spaniel Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Charlie and I'm a registered canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the Brittany, then how to become high level canine leaders that can raise the perfect spaniel. So if you're a lifelong lover, thinking about getting one or just started your journey with your new Brittany, then this is a channel for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future Brittany Spaniel video. So then let's Let's get into today's video where we'll be taking a deep dive into the grooming needs of a Brittany Spaniel. The Brittany is a Spaniel, so it has the typical coat of a Spaniel. Soft, wavy and little to no shedding. The undercoat is soft and dense, weatherproof to protect the dog in all seasons and its top coat is more silky and soft, almost like well conditioned hair. Depending on the exercise and what terrain the exercise in, will depend on how often you need to brush through their coat. Once a week is a minimum requirement, but if they're consistently foraging through the hedgerows and undergrowth, as all spaniels love to do, then you'll need to check them for tangles or to see if they've managed to bring any little sticks or shrubbery home in their coat. When you do brush them, pay close attention to their ears, armpits, back of the legs and their tail, where their coat tends to be more the longest. Mats are a common occurrence in this breed if you don't keep on top of brushing. The recommended brush for this breed would be a Furminator, but use that after you've used a brush with metal teeth. This will thin the coat out after you've teased all the tangles. Brushing has another benefit too, other than detangling. It'll help to distribute the healthy oils the dog produces, helping to keep the coat and skin healthy. Bath them only when they're really necessary, but on average every few weeks will do, unless they've rolled in something suspicious or decided to go for a mud bath down the local field. You don't want to bath them too often or it'll strip their coat of these important oils, as I've already mentioned. Spaniels are known for impressive ears, but the Brittany has missed on the heavy feathering of the fur on the ears, unlike a Cocker Spaniel. This makes their maintenance a lot easier, especially as they're a commonly used working dog. It's always best to check their ears inside and out every week to prevent any buildup or to prevent any issues from progressing undetected. Should you need to clean their ears, either get some mild ear cleaner, your local vet practice will sell some, and follow the guidelines on the packet, or if they just need a quick clean, after your dog's decided a muddy puddle was too tempting, a warm damp washcloth or cotton pad will do. If you do notice any irritation or a bad smell, please do consult your vet. Depending on your diet you feed your Brittany will depend on the tartar buildup, but in general check their teeth every week and you can brush them up to three times a week, but if they won't tolerate that just once a week will do. Just keep an eye on any potential buildup. Some dog friendly chews, dried animal parts like bull's pizzle for example, will help to clean their teeth. It's a less invasive way to limit tartar buildup and keeps them busy for a while. If you work your Brittany, you're less likely needing to trim their nails as they'll naturally wear them down romping around in mixed terrain all day. But if you do notice that they're starting to make a noise on hardwood floors, they may need trimming. Nail clipping is pretty straightforward. It's exactly like cutting your own nails. But if you're unsure on where the quick the nail bed sits in the claw, it's best to get it done at a vet's or groomer's. It can be painful and bleed, so a vet or groomer will be better equipped to deal with that. So let's recap today's video on a Brittany's grooming needs. The Brittany has a soft wavy coat that's weatherproof but also has a tendency to mat if left too long between grooms. Weekly brushes are essential, particular attention is needed around the back of the ears, armpits, back of the legs and their tails where the fur tends to be the longest. And just to check they don't have anything tangled up in the longer hair. If they favour scrabbling around in the hedgerows it's quite possible they'll bring home some souvenirs. Bathe them every few weeks unless they need it. Baths that are too frequent will strip the coat of their natural oils and with the ears, teeth and nails it's best to give them all weekly checks. This will catch any issues early and prevent any nasty symptoms from causing any unnecessary pain. And you want to start all of this handling early on in their lives to get them used to having their ears checked, their teeth checked and their feet touched etc. This will not only make the grooming easier but it will make vet checks quicker and less stressful too. Well I hope you've enjoyed today's video, if so make sure you hit that like button and get involved down on the comment section below and don't forget if you are new here to make sure you subscribe we have three dedicated britney videos coming here every single week so i can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the fenrir britney show